Welcome to the Select Board, Board of Health, Steward Commissioner meeting, uh, December 8th, 2023 at 2.34 uh, um, here in the offices of the municipal building. Um, this is a this meeting will be held in a hybrid fashion with the opportunity for both in-person attendance and remote participation. Please note that while an option for remote attendance and or participation is being provided at the courtesy to the public, the meeting will not be suspended or terminated if technological problems interrupt the virtual broadcast unless otherwise required by law. Members of the public with particular interest in any specific item on this agenda should make plans for in-person versus virtual attendance accordingly. This meeting will be held in person in the main meeting room of the Deerfield Municipal Offices. In accordance with Mass General Law, Chapter 30A, anyone intending to record the meeting must identify themselves to the clerk and provide their name and address for the record. Okay, calling this meeting to order, we're going to open the or warrant, um, have a question on the ballot, and then close the warrant. So, Tim, go ahead. And we're going to suspend public comment for the meeting, yes. right? Yes. Okay. So, um, do I need to make a motion to open the hearing? Yes. Ask a question. You can ask. You. Um, before you do that, do you want to sit and listen to what um, Cassie can tell you for information? Because it does impact sort of the decision you make. Sure. Oh, I thought we were supposed to open the hearing first before we did that. Well, it's. Yeah, let's. If it, I do, I was just, it's not so much a hearing as an opening a special. Yeah, the warrant. Like moving the warrant. to open I'm the warrant. Yes. So yeah. I just thought I'm you might want to hear that. Open the warrant. Okay. Take it away. <laughs> if you can give us the information before we open the warrant, Cassie. <laughs> right, right. So um, uh, you need to introduce yourself. Yes. I always forget that. Okay. To that and all the mic. All right. Um. So um. I'm Cassie Sanderell. Um. Uh. The uh, newly appointed clerk for Deerfield. Um. And I. <laughs> um. I would like to. Um. First, I want to thank you for having this discussion. Um. Uh. Regarding a potential second special election. Um. And I'd also like to just preface. Um this part of the conversation with a short statement um, that I will gladly discuss anything related to the election operations um, and voter registration and plan to um, excuse myself um, if and when the discussion concerning the ballot question itself and vote happens. Um, so I am completely separate from that. Um, um, if I am informed today, which it sounds like um, I will be, of the calling of a special election um, to be held on possibly January 16th, um, uh, I can assure the select board um, that I can and will run a fair and impartial election in accordance with federal, state, and local laws. Um, in speaking with Michelle Tassinari, a legal counsel in the elections division office of the Secretary of the Commonwealth today, um, I've weeded out a few concerns and items that I feel I need to make the board aware of. Um, First is the expense attached to an, uh, an additional election, um, which will roughly be $2,000. Um, this was not budgeted for, but will need to be covered. Um, second, the time of year um, and a potential weather event. Um, as you're aware, the only way an election can be canceled is via a court order. Um, this means that um, the board will need to ensure that resources are available to keep poll workers and residents safe um, during the election if a weather-related event takes place. Um, and Michelle had a great recommendation. Um, she mentioned that we could meet maybe a week or so before um, and just loop in the DPW and plan, um, you know, if the town hall closed due to weather, um, how we would ensure that things got taken care of and everybody could um uh, reach the polls safely. Um, and finally, I just, uh, I am a bit concerned about residents being inundated um, with materials in this time frame um, that asks something of them. Um, my hope is that if residents do find themselves overwhelmed or with questions that they contact the town offices um, and we can direct them to the appropriate place. Um, and just finally, I'm confident that um, if we stay positive, um, we'll navigate through all of this together. Perfect. Thank you. Sure. 
certainly we've got a lot of experience with weather events and that's the whole purpose of this discussion. So uh, thank you for bringing that to our attention. There's multiple people that are aware of weather. <laughs> so we'll be able to handle that. Okay. Tim, do you want to open the warrant? Um, I'll make a motion to open the warrant. I will second that. All those in favor? Tim Hilchi, aye. Carolyn Ness, aye. Okay. So um, we're going to be making a series of motions, and then um, please uh, uh, help me out if I misspeak in any way. So the first motion, I move that prior public notice of the select board's intention to call a special town meeting for the purpose of a special election for approval of debt exclusions under Proposition 2 and a half be waived because in the opinion of the select board, the public interest would suffer from such delay. I will second that. All those in favor? Tim Hilchi, aye. Carolyn Ness, aye. Okay. Second motion is, I move that a special town meeting be called for January 16, 2024, for the purpose of a special election to vote on a question relative to debt exclusions under Proposition 2 and a half. I will second that. All those in favor? Tim Hilchi, aye. Carolyn Ness, aye. Third, I move that the warrant be opened for insertion of questions. I will second that. All those in favor? Tim Hilchi, aye. Carolyn Ness, aye. Okay. I move that the select board by two-thirds vote to seek voter approval at a special election to exclude from the provisions of General Laws Chapter 59, Section 21C, the funds required for the payment of principal and interest on bonds, note, notes, or certificates of indebtedness. Second. All those in favor? Tim Hilchi, aye. Carolyn Ness, aye. And that constitutes a two-thirds vote. Yes. Yep. <clears throat> now, at this point, I think I need to read the uh, question. The, the, do I need to read the vote moved and seconded? I believe. Yes. Yeah. And then, then read the question. Okay. Mm -hmm. See how I can do. Moved and seconded that the select board seek voter approval at a special election to be held on January 16, 2024 to exempt from the provisions of General Laws Chapter 59, Section 21C, the funds required for the payment of principal and interest on bonds, notes, or certificates of indebtedness, all is set forth in the following question. One. Question one. Shall the town of Deerfield be allowed to exempt from the provisions of Proposition 2 and 1 half, so-called, the amounts required to pay for the bond issued in order to pay the costs of extraordinary road and sidewalk reconstruction and repairs, including engineering and design, and for all the costs related to incidental and incidental thereto. Um, I will make that. I will second that. <laughs> Don't we have to identify that we're doing the five million somewhere? I have now. I have Rick Nally review the question. This is the exact same question we used before. Right. Um, okay. And he did review the question as bond counsel, both Lisa and Rick. Here. Okay. So All right. I I thought so myself, but I asked them specifically. All right. I, then then the, that's all. I just needed to know that. Um, all those in favor? Um, Tim Hilchi, aye. Carolyn Ness, aye. Okay. Um, and then um, the final. Are we motion. ready to close this warrant? I would imagine. I just want to make sure before I do it. Yep. Um, I move that the warrant for the special election to be held on January 16, 2024 is closed and notice hereof be transmitted to the town clerk. I will second that. All those in favor? Tim Hilchi, aye. Carolyn Ness, aye. Okay. So we'll sign the paperwork. Thanks for all the preparation and everyone who was involved. Yes. Um, yeah, you know, I, I know that uh, I struggle with these things when these these questions are often worded in such a way that it's not exactly clear what you're being asked to do. And uh, so <clears throat> hopefully the, we'll be able to 
communicate to people what what we're asking them to do and uh, so that they can make an informed decision, whatever that might be. Um, we're going to, going to put off to Wednesday more discussion of how we're going to slim down internal. the budget. Um, but I do, I feel as an unanticipated item that we need to notify people that we are not going to do sidewalks if there is snow on Monday. We're not allowing Kevin excuse to sign me, a contract. Just for, excuse me. Thank you. For, yep. um, Thank you, Cassie. Um, snow removal for, for on the sidewalks. So, I mean, <laughs> we have to put it up on the website at least as a minimum, right? I mean, so, Tim? Uh, you're concerned that because we have a snow event, we, the board should well, address this as It looks like it's going to be business. rain for us, but it's not 100%. The, the cold, a cold front is coming in and it might end up with snow. In the, in the hill towns, they're going to get one to six inches of snow. Here, that might not happen, but if it does and, and people expect us to clear the snow off the sidewalks, it's not going to happen. So I feel like we have to, you know, whether we <laughs> vote on it right now as a done deal, and so you can put it up on the website this afternoon, I think it was really important. Yeah, so let's finish signing this yes. stuff, and then we can focus on that. And, and uh, maybe we, address, we reinforce that on Wednesday's meeting um, so that we make it very clear during the meeting. Right. Yeah, I mean, we can say going forward until the yeah. uh, in our cash flow situation is going you know, to been resolved um, that there's going to be a policy that we're not going to be hiring hiring outside contractors to snowplow the sidewalks. Okay, uh, we just can't. Um, you know, with the added low workload of Snowberry Court and I mean Snowberry and Greylock and. Um, down a person in the highway department. It's you know Kevin just doesn't feel like, you know he has the manpower to do it. So he was going to contract it out, and I, I don't feel that we can spend that money. It's an additional unbudgeted um, expense. So, and we need to be talking about you know what other expenses we're going to cut between you know the next couple of weeks. Like to maybe amend that to say we're going to be considering cutting if the situations, um, if the Warrants. if the warrant doesn't uh, special election doesn't give us the authority to. Well, we, yeah, we have to have an action plan yeah. put in place. I mean, we can't wait until the sixteenth and then say, "Oh, sorry." Right. We have to make up the money. We have to find some money in the general fund right now. That we are going to just want to make sure that everything has been signed properly. Thank you. Well, oh, here's the folder. I will take this to Cassie right away. Yeah, just check it before you go in there and make sure we all obviously Trevor didn't, but can I bring it up? Oh, you know what? You need to put the date. Do you mind if we write the date? In? No, no, go ahead. Sure. Yep. <laughs> So it's the eighth oh, down here. given our eighth, oh, given the eighth day. Thank you, Chris. Um, <laughs> okay, so yes, and yeah, so all of those probably on each one of those sheets. Yep. So what uh, what next, uh, Carolyn? Under unanticipated or so? What oh. I, Carolyn? What I'll do is on the thirteenth agenda. Um, where we have, you and I had already talked about putting budget conversation on there. Mm -hmm. um, would you like me to identify the specific sidewalk concerns and then you guys can discuss it as a group and, and take a formal vote? No, we're going to vote tonight so we can put it on the website today. Right now, I'm going to have Chris put it on the website that we will not be cleaning sidewalks. Stuff okay, right. so I will make that motion that... Um, the town, unfortunately, will not be able to um, sign a contract to clean the sidewalks of snow for snow removal. And I mean, that's the consequence of not being authorized to borrow. We don't have the money. So we can't have Kevin signing additional contracts or committing us to additional contracts that we potentially can't pay. So the motion is that we will not um, be authorizing the DPW to um contract out snow removal on the sidewalks and it'll be up to up to citizens to clear the sidewalks in front of their homes 
Yes. Okay. Well, I'll make that motion. No, no, I made <laughs> You made that motion. Okay. Yeah, so I'll second it. All right. All those in favor? Tim Elchie, aye. Carolyn Ness, aye. I'm just concerned, Casey, that it can't be delayed. It should be, a, a, you know, the select board, you know, has no, is not authorizing the DPW to sign a contract, whatever. Something just needs, this town is no longer going to be cleaning this, the sidewalks. It needs to be up on a website in case there is snow flurries or snow accumulation on Monday. The good news is that higher elevations, which might get snow um, more frequently, also are the places in town where we don't really have sidewalks. So. Right, right. I mean, know. if we get a couple inches or some snow at my house, it's not going to matter one way or the other. But that's not. I was just concerned they're not it's not clear 100% that we're going to stay completely in rain and I Right no no I, I get and, it. and if if we have snow accumulation and people are expecting the D, DPW to move that snow it's not going to happen. Mhm. Mm yep. And I don't know how our website works it doesn't seem to work very effectively for these kinds of things and I don't know that citizens go to the website to learn fix it. You know. Well, there, there's a couple of different routes we could go with. We could um, put it, if we wanted it to be a less of an annoying thing, there's a news and updates section that if you keep scrolling down to the bottom, you'll find. Um, mm -hmm. Otherwise, if you want something to pop right up in people's faces, you have a couple of options. You could go with a splash module, which uh, is like what we had advertised for the election with, mm -hmm. where the second you log on to it, it is this big box that you have to Right. Click out of there's also an alerts bar which would be a red tab at the top which is a little bit less disruptive but can um, we do both sure because yeah. the once they opt out they'll still see the red bar right and so, then you have to remove it later I and mean, this is an ongoing thing we just made a policy that we're not going to hire independent contractors to do sidewalks for the the season mm -hmm. yeah we're not talking about one storm so right yeah we can keep that as a bar and have yeah. it up there for the winter yeah so we might have to adjust what, if Sarah wants anything about um, the real estate bills once we have that ready. Sure. Because sometimes there's a red bar about that. I might so be, you might want to talk to her. I might be wrong, but I think you can have multiple going at once. Of course, if you have so many, then you might block your entire screen with red right. bars of notifications. But I think two would be okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, if... In case she wants to. She may not want to. Sure. Right. Okay. I, I just want also want to announce that... Um, our open houses for the churches are this weekend, this Sunday. Um, the Old Deerfield Brick Church is 11 to 1230. Holy Family Name Church is 1130 to 1230. Um, the Ukrainian Church is um, 10 to 1030, okay, and then from 12 to 1. Uh, there is a reception at the Holy Family Church um, from 11 to 3. There's um, Kathy uh, Thomas... Um, Catering has done a lovely job all through our 350th year, and she's doing another great catering event for the reception um, on Sunday. So if you want to um, take a tour of the churches and talk about the history of the churches and their how they relate to their, our community, please come out. It would be it's going to be a wonderful day, and it will be before the rain starts, hopefully. So and so um, apparently, although we made the motion and seconded it. Um, and Casey didn't hear us vote it. So, oh, so um, I will remake my motion that uh, unfortunately we are the select board is not allowing the highway department um, to a contract out for the sidewalk snow removal. So, um, as a response to cash flow difficulties, yes, brought on by um, the inability to debt exclude emergency potential borrowing uh, we're not we're not uh, doing additional contracts right or additional expenses. And I'll second all those in favor tim hilchey aye carolyn ness aye thank you that's multiple votes <laughs> multiple consensuses <laughs> um i will take a motion to so adjourn. I'll make the motion to adjourn i will second that all those in favor tim hilchey aye carolyn ness aye okay thank you